Me knucklehead. Me so human, me read paper. Me drink coffee, me have phone. Me iron me teeth and brush me pants. Me play Atari. Me always have fresh brood pot cocaine to start day. Meanwhile, three hours later. Our top story tonight, I'm here to report this noose. Good day. <laughs> What's that? I haven't reported what I was supposed to yet? <laughs> I'm making a complete ass of myself. The most embarrassing thing you've ever seen. <laughs> and now I should get back to it since I'm, we're just ripping off obscure Cartoon Network classic SpongeBob SquarePants? Alright then, breaking news. <laughs> Stop doing that, boy, or you're fired! You can't fire me, I quit. Just kidding, I desperately need this job. Anyway, the actual news is that face rape orangutans have been released on America Town, USA. As I speak, 20 people are being raped by monkeys, and I'm not doing a goddamn thing about it. Sometimes you just gotta let nature take its course, even if it takes its course by force. Of course! Of course. Now I'm gonna do horse. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, kids, if you're gonna do drugs, do it safely. Snort, don't shoot, and you go to hell before you die. Meanwhile, in the not-too-distant future... At last, my plan has come to fruition, Officer Savage. First, these monkeys will take over America Town, USA, then the world. Then Sarge and Pedro will pay at twice the price. Kind of guy I am. I don't like the term monkey because it's degrading and dehumanizing, demoralizing, detransitioning, demonstrating, and demanding. I prefer the term primate American. We will, however, use these primate Americans to liberate America Town, USA and impose our will in a dictatorship. I, I mean, democracy. Yeah, yeah, democracy. That That's because democracy takes us all down a peg and leaves everyone equally unhappy. Also communism. Meanwhile, 24 and a half days earlier, me run business. Me good manager because human. He hasn't run or managed anything since we've worked here. He doesn't even pay us. He just uses the threat of violence and sexual assault to force us to work. Yes, me good manager. Me kind businessman. Slavery is human nature. That's why me real human, not fake. You don't even have to think about it, dude. Hello, I am government man. I come from the government. The government has sent me in here... I'm here to help. The business is not up to code. Doesn't pass literally any regulations. Also, I hate gorillas, so I'm going to shut you down. So now it's no more monkey business. Ooh, that title. He said it. Very clever. Also, fuck you. This doesn't change anything. You're still legally required to shut this down. Ah, ah. Well, if me can't run business, me join human sports, because me real human. Ah! Meanwhile, sickety two Earth days later. Listen to me, you little shit. I don't have time to monkey around. Tell me the monkey's invasion plan. <laughs> That's not good enough. I have ways to make you scream, and not just with my fat cock. <laughs> Back in 1962. I did an experiment where I tortured monkeys to see if they get depressed. It turns out they do. Who'd have thought? I know, it's shocking. That's the end of my little story. Meanwhile, six milliseconds later... Hello, I am Benjamin Durr, but you can call me Meaner for short. Today, I'm interviewing this dead monkey. What's it like being a dead monkey? Wouldn't you like to know, Weather Boy? Oh. No one disrespects me without tasting the fury of my ghost gun, trademark. Mm. Mm. Next, I'll be interviewing this lady on the street, Ellen Page. It's Elliot. Listen, lady, what do you think of the face rape orangutans? Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you, you bigot. You do realize that the word bigot is retarded because it can describe literally anyone. It just means someone who has outrageous beliefs, which subjectively can be, can be applied to anyone, since no one's completely reasonable. And as for hating groups, tribalism is human nature. And actually, weren't you a character who was originally created who wanted to cancel this show for being offensive? I took a big fat red pill this morning. Now die, cuck! Mm -hmm. Dude, based. Did somebody say bigot? Where's the bigot? Is that the bigot? Somebody here has to be a bigot. 
you. You're the bigot. Bam, bam. Ah, why me? Because everyone I don't like is a bigot, and I'm a bigot slayer. Anyway, I heard that more monkeys have taken over Detroit. What are your thoughts, Mr. Sergeant Master James Third Man himself? Thanks for letting me appear on my own show, boy. As for your question, I think we should get those monkeys out of Detroit. Yeah, let's get them niggers out of Detroit! Oh my god, it's a Democrat! Kill him! Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself in this situation. Well, it all started when- OH GOD! <laughs> meanwhile, shmeanwhile, five seconds later... All right, now me join human swim team, because me human. You can tell because of me human fur, me giant human teeth, and me tiny human cock. All right, here I go. Ah, help, me can't swim. I'll save you. Ah, God, ah, ah, why, Oh, God, the blood in the pool is attracting the attention of sharks. Ten minutes later. Hello, I am Benjamin Nerr, but you can call me B. Nizzle for shizzle. Today, I'll be intervizzling Rizzle Tizzle, famous women's undisputed swim champion, 1986 to 2022. Now, Rizzle, may I do Rizzle? Actually, it's Miss Tizzle to you, if don't you for gizzle. I have such a headache, right, Nizzle? Okay, this joke has overstayed. Welcome, Nizzle. Now, Miss Tizzle, you've spent your life training to swim, is that correct? Yes, I've trained so hard to swim my whole life, and I and have dominated the other women in my division. I also beat them at swimming. So swimming has been my life, and now the gorilla has showed up, he killed all my competition, and since he can't swim, I guess I win by default. Not so fizzle, Mizzle Tizzle! Oh, shizzle, that gorizzle has a mizzle. And it, that mizzle tizzle. Golly gee, would you look at that? I used to believe in logic and reason. <laughs> By process of elimination, Knucklehead wins the swimming competition. Wait a minute. Since he cheated by killing the competition, shouldn't he lose by default? Are you fucking insane? That's a gorilla with a goddamn missile launcher. I don't want to be his enemy. Sometime later. Meanwhile. Hello, I'm Dr. Bill. Some call me a quack, but I'm actually a doctor. Today on our show, our next victim, I mean patient, is the stunning and brave Knucklehead who is here today to talk about why species is a social construct. Me have sex many frogs, so me know love is love, and species not real. So you have relationships with these frogs? Me wouldn't call them relationships exactly, since they die after. I see. How brave. Well, to counter your argument today, we have Bat Walsh, famous bigot, and Theobatic fascist. Did somebody say bigot? Is there a bigot in the house? I'm a bigot! Bam, bam! Oh, oh my god, he's got a gun! And I am a good guy with a gun! His one weakness! Bam, bam! Base! Ugh. It's ridiculous to think that you're a human. I mean, just look at your fur. This human fur! Me human! Transhumans are human! What is a human? Me! But what does it mean to be human? To be human is to be human! But you're not a human. You're a wild, filthy gorilla who rips people apart. And you think because that me no human? That biggest racism me ever hear! Speaking of race, what race are you specifically if you are in fact a human? Me obviously African American. What else could me be? I me eat bananas, me like watermelon, me drink grape drink, me have giant lips and lumbering arms. Yo, motherfucker, that's racist! You piece of shit! Shh! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, fuck! Ah! Ah! That's so stunning and brave to stand up for yourself. Me smoke crack, too. That's how black me am. I myself like quack cocaine. How about when this is over, we go do a little coke? Humans are furless, bipedal, and have opposable thumbs on their hands, but not their feet. You clearly have opposable toes. You make up funny words. Me true intellectual. Me read Carl Barks. That's not even a real person. Now you're just making up animal names. Me also watch Tick and Porky because me have high human IQ. That's not even a real show. 
I prefer Sergeant Friends, which to be fair, you have to have a pretty low IQ to understand Sergeant Friends. I myself am absolutely retarded and don't like those intellectual shows like Rick and Morty. Sergeant Friends is too lowbrow and shallow for you plebs to understand. You'll never get on my level. It's too low. Nothing is lower than a Sergeant Friends fan. I live every day of my life in squalor and filth. Is that what he calls it? You bet your sweet pippy it is. Base. There's nothing based about it. He has an unfair advantage. He can easily rip people apart because he has gorilla strength. Okay, folks. This claim that he could possibly be a human is completely outlandish and shouldn't be taken seriously. Even hypothetically speaking, for sake of argument, and hypothetically speaking, this person is batshit insane. Hypothetically speaking, and hypothetically speaking, you're a duck, you're a bat, and you're a gorilla. And also hypothetically speaking, my name is Hen Shapiro. It is nonsensical, as I am a rooster and not a hen. Well said. Well, let me ask you something. Are you a human, Mr. Walsh? No, of course not. I'm, I'm a proud bat. Then how do you know what a human is? Well, are you a cat? No. Well, do you know what a cat is? Me have cat? Me was just waiting for opportune moment to pull it out. Me had this all day. This entire charade is getting ridiculous. How on earth is anyone putting up with this? He's clearly not a human. He's a deranged ape with a dead cat in his pocket. And you're seriously suggesting that we let him continue to compete in human sports. Me also have ten dead children in me closet. Tasty snacks. Look, I'm gonna level with you guys here. I think this should be allowed because it's funny. This whole thing is so friggin' funny. I'm high as a kite right now. I haven't had this good time since World War II. I don't know which is funnier. How about we go do a little coke? You think me funny? I kill you because me rational. I'll help you. He's dangerous and is spreading bad information while pretending to be a doctor. He's just a quack. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant's word is 100%. And if you want to kill me, that's despicable. Suffering succotash. Ten seconds later. You know, you'd think this would be against my moral principles, but it's not. After all, he's just a duck and shouldn't have a medical degree in the first place. Which he doesn't. This is actually just a free pizza card from Little Caesars. He, he is tasty, like me firstborn child. I'm glad we could find common ground on that. And if I may take this opportunity to shamelessly plug my new documentary, What is a Human? Coming soon to Daily Vampire. Which is odd because vampires can't go out in the day. But that's what Hen Shapiro decided to call it. The name makes perfect sense if you use facts and logic, folks. Meanwhile, seven light years later... All right, boy, no more monkeying around. We got to take care of these monkeys. I am no stranger to genocide, and God fears my name. Well, boy, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but that doesn't fit your character as the sweet and innocent sidekick you've always been, and, and adorable, too. The real friends were the friends we made along the way. That doesn't even make any sense. I know you are, but what am I? A faggot. No, you... Well, as I have no rebuttal to that, I will instead fight these monkeys. Transform! <laughs> Alright, enough monkeying around. This fucker has robots, too? Alright, I don't remember Detroit looking quite like it. Take that, monkey! Gotcha! And these fucking robots are everywhere. God damn, why does Detroit have so much fucking treasure? Big ass castle here all around, and these monkeys are in some sort of medieval theme. I don't know why this is all going on in Detroit, but fuck it. Holy Jesus, fuck! One of those monkeys is a giant metal robot dragon thing! Take that, you slimy fiends! Oh god! This thing's so tough! I'm gonna fuck him up! Nothing can defeat my daydream night ability! Oh, you're gonna shish kebab me, are you? I'll show you a shish kebab, you little faggot! Come here! You think that fire's good enough for Sergeant Adam James Bastard the Third? Take that! Ha! Got him! Your dragon was a pushover, you fucking pussy! Now I'm gonna catch you! And you're gonna be the hardest monkey I catch today, so we're gonna skip all the rest! Because that's it! I got you, bitch! Fuck yeah! Speed run, motherfucker! Die! Die, motherfucker! Die, motherfucker, still! One million monkeys later... Curse you, Sergeant Friends! How dare you defeat all my porch monkey army! I wouldn't- I wouldn't say that so loud in Detroit. Well, I mean, I would, but I wouldn't recommend you do it. I'll get you next time, my pretty, and your little dog, too! I'm Devil Man! Damn it, Pedro, he got away! We'll get him next time on Sergeant Friends, rated TVY7. Meanwhile... Present day. 
present time. <laughs> well, boys, that sure was a crazy adventure. I'm sure we'll get that evil possessed Gary Gat soon enough. You said it, Sarge. I'm sure glad I was here to save you guys with my cryptocurrency scam, and you'd have never lasted without my small loan of a million dollars. That's true, our old friend Faggle, who has always been here for us. I'm so glad you've been here the entire time. You don't even have to think about it, dude. I'm Tyler, and you guys are gonna pay for not paying me. Fuck you!